What up, guys? Welcome back to Economics and Sick Face. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the FOC video, so we better do some sort of intro. So let's do this. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Okay, so let me let me do something really fast. Um, okay, so there are super chats tonight. Let me explain them to you really fast. Here we go. So first place is two Jaylene sign books, an X Factor with a COA, and then the Savage Neymar Submariner. That's his first cover for Marvel, okay? And it's signed by him. Second place is Amazing Spider-Man 375, which is the first hand Wayne, or whatever, however you say her last name, Weighing, and uh, it and uh, Todd McFarlane Mysterio cover. And third place is some old books. We got the first appearance of Lion Mane and the first appearance of Orca, okay? So those are some older keys, a silver and an early bronze, possibly still silver. So that's that. So there you go. Um, oh, okay. Let me just write down Eddie's super chat really fast. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So um, what I was going to say was make sure to get your pad out and paper to write down your goodies. If there's something you like, you can write it down, okay? So we're going to get going like pretty quick. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the sickness. <clears throat> and that's good to go. I hope everyone's doing well. Rick James, let me get him down for 10 real quick. Rick James, man. Six. Seven. Six or 15. Oh, Ben. Benjamin. I'm getting too old for this shit. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And Chester. <clears throat> okay. So, here we go. I'm going to start at Diamond. We're at Diamond. A to, a to Z. When I, what's up, scumbag? When I get to DC, we'll go over to Lunar. See what's coming out there. You can order these all in the next couple days. You got to order your Lunar, your DC books by Sunday and everything else by Monday. So call your stores, go to Comics Elite, use my code, go to anywhere and use my code, honestly. Um, so let's go. We're finding out together what's coming up. So a couple of these got pushed too. So first of all, on February 17th, we have Itty Bitty Drum Hardcover. Okay, and now let's move on to Zombie Tramp. Okay, Zombie Tramp, cover A, video game. Cover B, booby video game. Cover C, holy shnikes. I th is this the one that maybe got pushed? Oh, my God. You know me, you guys. I got to, I got to, you know I like those covers. You know I like them boobage. So that would be, I think 77 was the one. This is 78. So, mama. I'm just going to write it down as a, a cover. <laughs> Zombie. 78C. Mm, mm, mm. And you know the double Ds are the boobies. Let me just minimize this a little bit. How's that look? Mm. 
You can't really see the boobage, can you? Let's see here. We want you to see. There you go. There's some boobage. Yeah. Okay. And then cover D, which is the double Ds. You know what I'm saying? Cover E. Oh, my God. What is she doing to that popsicle? That's not a popsicle. That's a finger. It's disgusting. Okay. And that's it from Action Lab. Let me get down old Craigie Poo. Craig for CX. Craig for CX. Sex. Craig. 26, 27, 28, 29, 33, 1. Okay. Next. We're going to Aftershock Comics. We got Miskatonic number four. Oh, wait, 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 wait. A new book called, let's do this one first. We Live, number five. Okay, new book, Shadow Doctor, number one. Well, that's a cool cover. Years in the Making, this is the true story of writer Peter Calloway's grandfather, Nathaniel Calloway, a black man who graduated from medical school in early 1930s. Unable to get work at any Chicago hospitals because he was black and unable to secure a loan from a bank to start his own practice because he was black, he turned to another source of money. Prohibition-era Chicago, the mafia, run by none other than Al Capone. As Callaway himself says, on the other hand, his story represents the promise of America. On the other hand, it shows the worst of it. Okay, so there you go. Cover A. And here's the 15-copy variant. My guess is he was probably, this could be a very interesting story, the private doctor for the Al Capone mob. You know what I mean? Like when someone got hurt or something? That's my guess. And I think it's a pretty good one. Don't you think? Oh. <laughs> I don't know, Chris Salinas. I don't think I've ever read it. <laughs> buddy. We get buddy. Buddy. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Those are cover buys for me all day long. Okay, next. Archie, Jumbo Comic Gigest. We're at Archie now. Number 317. Okay. Sabrina, Something's Wicked. Number 5, cover A. B by Boo. C by Andy Fish. And that's it for Archie. AWA, you guys. We have American Rona, number 5. These are all coming out February 17th. And bite-sized, number three. Everyone could see everything good, right? And everything? I hope so. Let me just double check. Maybe I can make it a little bigger. That's what she said. That's a little better. It's a little bigger. That's what she said. Okay. From Boom. Here we go. We have Abbott, number two. Cover B. 25 copy Miracle and Dolpho. We can't see. My guess is, yeah, we can't see it. Okay, and a new book. Look at this. Buffy, the Vampire Slayer Faith. The future of the Buffy perverse begins here. In an all-new one-shot revealing the secrets of Faith, the Vampire Slayer. The origin of Faith is revealed here for the first time with a shocking ending to this issue. So, origin story, key. Uh, 25 copy uh, Virgin, 10 copy Cajonas, foil cover,
Expanse number three is coming out. Cover A. B. Can't see the 10 copy. Can't see the 25. My guess is they're uh, virgins of the A and B. <clears throat> Forever Home original graphic novel. Dark Crystal Journey into Mondo hardcover. Mighty Morphin Rangers TMNT limited edition soft cover. Limited to 500. That comes out on the 24th. Okay. Once in the future. Number 16. Ten copy we can't see. We can see the twenty-five copy. Not too shabby. It's okay. Okay. Power Rangers number four, cover A. B. We can't see. That's no fun. We can't see the blank sketch, but it's pink. Here's the ten copy Scalera. Fifteen copy. Nucolo, Montez, 50 copy we can't see. And that's it for Boom. This is the end of the, well, no, it's not the end of the month. Let me check the uh, Chizat. I see Peter says, guess not, but I don't know what he's talking about. So, uh, if, unless there was a question, I don't know. Las Cruces, five bucks, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. I'll show the prizes really quick. Here's the prizes. There you go. Okay, now, <clears throat> Dynamite. Let's start with, Jesus. Dynamite number five, Perio cover. Sidem, look at that, Booty. Can't see the Robson. Cosplay. Lorraine Cosplay. 10 copy we can't see. 20 we can't see. 30 we can. 40. Just know they're all the same copies, just different things. Black and white. Limited virgin. Limited virgin. There's more, so hang on. We got to see the FOCs. You can't see it. Stupid. Zombie homage FOC. That is frustrating. So it's basically what we saw, but there are different colors, and those are FOCs. There's a 20 copy Peanuts homage version. We can't see it. And a Dr. Seuss. It's kind of annoying, isn't it? <clears throat> Okay, Red Sonia, Price of Blood, number three. Cover A by Sidem. That's sick, dude. Dude, that cover's fire. I'm going to write it down because that cover's fire. I think. Shit looks real, man. <clears throat> Cover B by Golden. Nice. 
C by Lindsner. Giovanni is D. Cosplay. 10 copy. 15, 20, 25, 30. Th graded. 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 Limited virgin. Same. 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 Crimson red line art. Uh, virgin red line. Let's see what else we got here. There's the FOC you can order, 35 copy, black and white. There's a 21 copy, 11 copy, black and white, FOC. Only FOCs. Okay. Sacred Six, number seven, cover A by Perio. Damn. The boot tie is the boot tie. Cover B. That's cool. Cover C. Yeah, Kalash Chazudas. They do some serious boot tie. D by Dalton. E by Chu. 10 copy. 20. These are all virgins. 25. 30. That's not. Black and white. Black and white. Virgin. Virgin. Okay, here's their FOCs. Virgin Chu, 11 copy monochromatic. Tint, 25 copy. 35 copy tint. Let's get through these dynamites. We're almost done. Then it's smooth sailing. Maybe. Vampirilla Dark Powers, number three, cover A. B by Lindsner. C by Robson. Robson, Robson. D by Yoon. I like Yoon. E is the cosplay. Ten copy. Fifteen by Federici. Kano, fifteen. Davidson, fifteen. And Twenty Lindsner. 25 Federici, 25 Kano, 25 Davidson, 30 copy Lindsner, black and white, 30 copy Yoon, black and white, 35 copy Cosplay Virgin, 40 copy Lee, black and white, <clears throat> 45 copy Yoon, black and white Virgin, 50 copy Lee, black and white Virgin, CGC, CGC, Limited Virgin Lee, Lindsner, Yoon, Robeson, Crimson Line Art, Red Line Art Virgin, Lindsner Crimson Red Light Art, <laughs> God, Red Light Art, okay, let's see, did I miss any FOCs? Maybe. Here's a seven copy Robeson black and white FOC, you can only get that right in the next couple days, 11 copy Federici, seven copy Chaz Dues black and white FOC, 11 copy two monochromatic Virgin FOC. Do we do these? We did these. What am I doing? That's it for Dynamite. Gosh. Dark Horse is next. Let me check the Chiz at. Kind of low energy. I'm trying to save my voice. Trust me. I'm trying to save my voice. <clears throat> it already hurts. Oh, man. Yeah, Tiger is probably going to have to get that. Okay, from Dark Horse, we have... I hope you can hear me okay. I'm trying not to talk too loud. Um, Barbarian Red Planet, number four. Barbalian. 
and cover B. Okay, here we go. Stranger Things, Dungeons and Dragons and Crossover, number four, cover A, B, C, D, New book, Young Hellboy, The Hidden Land, number one. Now, that's kind of cool. They went back to when he was a kid. Stranded on a strange island after a mishap on the way to South America, dig site. Hellboy and Professor Brutenholm are confronted by all manner of monsters. But even with the stranger who rescues them turns out to be one of Hellboy's heroes, they aren't as safe as they think they are. Cover A, and then you have the, there's another one here, the Greg Land, or no. Mike Mignola. And that's it for Dark Horse. Okay, now IDW will get to that. We're going to go ahead and move to because uh, Dynamite's crazy, yo. They reached out to me, so we'll see what happens. I think they're trying to do the whole YouTube thing with everybody, you know. While we switch to DC, we'll go ahead and show you the Super Chat prizes. And we're back. <laughs> this is amazing. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Back again. Oh, fuck. Everything hurts, dude. I'm hurting. Okay. Oh, TC Jordry. Jord Jordry. $3. Okay. Oh, shit. Robert O'Brien, 14. Robert. Oh. 15. 59. 45 to 59. Then we got Peter. No one's got 69 yet. 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. It's coming. That's what she said. Okay, here we go. Thank you so much. Batman Black and White number three. Joshua Middleton cover. Let me read it in my head. Okay, here we go. The legend of the next Batman and introduce us to his new, well, she's not exactly Robin. So I don't know if this is her first appearance or not, right? But new Robin, female, going on the list. Let me go ahead and save that image. Oh, man, up close, that image is super fire. Key. Cover B is by... Oh, wait, let me read the rest. Nick Dragota makes his DC writing debut. There's a bunch of stories in there. A lot of different stories in there. Could be pretty interesting. Okay, here's cover B by Sana. Sana Takeda. Oh, let me see this really fast. Here's the last one, Peter. Chester. Chester was five. 60, 60, 70, 60, 80, 69. He got 69. Oh my god, he pissed off Stu. He pissed Stu off. 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
<laughs> Rick James, bitch. Rick James. 10, 76 to 85. Kim, Tiger Tiger. Oh, she's in it. Now she's going to win. She always wins. Uh, I think, uh, I don't know if Joel's here, but I think Kim and Joel got something going on, you guys. I do. I think there's something going on. We might have to make that happen. Okay, here we go. Next. Oh, shit. What's this? <gasps> there's a Randolph Poison Ivy variant as well. Okay. Next up on our list today, Batman White Knight presents Harley Quinn number five, covered by Sean Murphy. Hmm. Rattled and recovering from a close encounter with Starlet, Harley examines her complicated past or a boon to her new identity. Okay. And cover B by Scalera. Interesting. Okay, here we go. Catwoman number two. Is the final issue? Well, she's, Batman's going to be there. Cover A. Cover B, the B Hibachi variant. That's kind of interesting. Okay, Future State Green Lantern, number one, second printing. Future State Immortal Wonder Woman, number one, second printing. Future State Immortal Wonder Woman, number two. Nubia's attempts to stop the theft of ancient artifacts have led her, this is the last issue, to an even bigger conspiracy, an even bigger foe. Possible key. Oh, no. Cersei's up to, oh, well, maybe. Maybe it's Cersei. Cover A's not bad by Jen Bartel. You can count on those being fire. Cover B is by Becky Cloonan. Okay. Future State Justice League, number one, second printing. Future State Nightwing, number two. Okay, let's look at this. It's an all-new dynamic for the dynamic duo when Nightwing and Gotham's mysterious new Batman join forces. Uh-oh, team up. But when the totalitarian force controlling the city declares the two heroes are primary targets, Nightwing will need to call on the full force of his hidden resistance, including... Two Batgirls, Huntress and Two-Face. But even then, will it be enough? Find out in this action pack conclusion. This was the last issue. Ooh, that cover's pretty good. Cover B. Robin Eternal, number one, second printing. Shazam, number two, final issue. Revealing shocking secrets and the final fate of Billy Batson, the boy who was Earth's mightiest mortal. This issue introduced a deadly new threat born from the ashes of the Teen Titans Academy, Raven. Born from the ashes. Let's cover A. Perel variant. Okay, Future State Superman Worlds of War number two. Superman has Midnighter, Midnighter out there on a mission to chase down a dangerous new power source. Possible key of something. Plus, the Black Racer smashes her way to freedom. And that's it. Cover A. Cover B by Federici. Future State, next Batman number four. Last issue.
Plus, in the conclusion of Gotham City Sirens, Catwoman, and the new Android Siren. The new Siren will have to make a sacrifice to save her friends. I don't know, guys. Cover A. Cover B by Jay Lee, Jim Lee and Scott Williams. Generations Forged, number one, one shot. Dispersed through time by the villainous. Now these are all coming out on February sixteenth and twenty. Here's twenty third. Dispersed through time by the villain Dominus, a ragtag team of generational heroes featuring nineteen thirty nine Batman, Commandi, Superboy, Steel, Starfire, Sinestro, Booster Gold, and Doctor Light, must find a way to restore the timeline. And what they ultimately discover is something far, far greater. You'll have to read it to believe it as time dies and generations rise. Cover B by Albuquerque. <clears throat> Scooby-Doo, where are you? Want to wait? New book, Truth and Justice. Oh, shit. God, that sounds boring already. Number one, the DC Universe is, a, is synonymous with two words, truth and justice. And... In the first issue of this new anthology series, Vixen takes center stage. Mariah McCabe is many things. Superhero model activist. There you go. But can she add God Killer to the list? Vixen teams up with Dr. Mist and Impala of the Global Guardians to face down an ancient deity that takes taken over the body of a scientist investigating powerful magical artifacts. Vixen will need to dig be deep and use all the abilities in the animal kingdom. Oh my god, this story sounds like shit. To face down this powerful primal threat. Watch it be super hot on other channels. And cover B, we can't see. No, oh, that's too bad. That's it for DC. Yo. Okay. Check the chiz out. Check the chiz. Chiz on the chiz out. Kim? Francisco. I'm here for to see. Well, here it's all done now. I don't know what that is, but 96, 97, 8, 9, 100. We got William Soul. You know what I'm saying, William? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh, buddy. It said sick. But he says sick. Okay. Now, oh, Collector P says bring the noise. My throat hurts, Collector P. I'll bring some noise for you, though, because you're sick. Wake you guys up. Stay here. Don't leave, Kim. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, here we go. By the way, what everyone's super chatting for besides sickness is these prizes. <clears throat> okay, back to business. We're going back to Diamond. Yes, we did boom. You got to go and rewind. Nothing too great, I don't think. My list is small. That's what she said. Okay, we're back. We haven't hit Marvel yet, though. 121 people. Hey, welcome, guys. Make sure to hit that like button, sicko sickers. And make sure to subscribe. We're, you know, I'm accumulating a shitload of stuff for my 10,000 sub contest. I got a hold of Piper Redditch today. She's sending me a bunch of shit. Nathan Zerdy, he's sending me stuff. It's just going to keep going and going and going until it's so sick. I don't even want to talk about truth and justice. Don't even want to think about it. Okay, here we go. Whatever, yo. Oh, Dark Helmet. Let me get Dark Helmet really fast. That's what she said. All right. We're at IDW. Complete Chester Gold Dick. Tracy Gould, 
50, 45 bucks hardcover. Dungeons and Dragons Infernal Tides trade paperback. 18 bucks. Looks like it's all. This might be a good quick week, guys. I don't know. J. Joe American Hero trade paperback volume. Whatever. Ragnarok hardcover. And Sonic the Hedgehog trade paperback. You're welcome. Okay. IDW top shelf. Johnny Boo. Silly Blizzard. That's a Lisa book. Hardcover volume 12. Okay. We're out of here. Image. Oh, you guys are ready for some image, aren't you? Okay. Kim. That's nasty. I think I just read something. A horny toad. Kim is getting horny and up in here. Okay. <laughs> I might have to look for a top 10, you guys. I only have three books, and two of them are boobage. One of them is worthwhile, I think. Okay. <laughs> Aria, Cre Heavenly Creatures, one shot, okay? There you go. Cover B. Cover C. Cover D. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi, how are you? No. Okay. A, B, C, D. Next. Excellence, number 10, cover A. Cover B. Next. Family tree, number 11. Uh-oh, I think I see something. Family tree, number Are you ready? Oh, yeah. You ready? Ha-ha. <laughs> number two. This is the book that you guys love so much right here. Look at that. Hmm. What's that? Okay, cover A. Let's see if cover B is better. Come on now. We need more for my top 10. Oh, yeah. That cover suck. Mm -mm. It's going on my list. Ha ha. Number two. Cover B. Simmons. Ha ha, y'all. Is there a cover C? Nope. Is there a third printing? Printing? I don't know. Stillwater number six. Walking Dead number nine. Deluxe edition. Cover A. B. C. The only one that's doing any good covers is Tedesco. That's for sure. That's it for Image. Oh, congratulations, Image. Oh, man. We're going to be a quick one today. Like, real quick. This must be uh, something going on. We got Marvel, yo. You're supposed to wait till after the show, buddy, to do your order. <laughs> crazy. You're crazy, buddy. You got it all backwards. I know there's a second printing. That one we already went through. This is a new week. These are all coming out at a different time. Okay, ready? Marvel. Amazing Spider-Man number 57 second printing. Greg, oh wow, we can't see it. Okay. Avengers. This comes out March 17th. Hickman Complete Collection Trade Paperback. Black Knight Facsimile Edition. February 17th. There you go. Black Widow. Okay, number five. That's a dope cover by Adam Hughes. Let me read it. What is she doing? This the end is also the beginning. Let's see. Winning the day will change Natasha forever and set her on a bold new path. Losing is no other option. Okay. Cover B by Copiel. Damn, that's sick. So one in twenty-five. That covers dope. I need to write shit down. So let me write that down. Running out of. There's no more stuff this time. Number five. One in twenty-five. Copio. I like it because she's holding machine guns pretty much. 
It's like the only real reason. Or Uzis and whatever that is. Is there any more? Ew! Marvel vs. Alien, guys. Terry Dodson. Okay, here we go. Cable, number eight. Cable and Domino. Captain America, number 27. How Cap got his mojo back. The Marvel Alien variant. Champ, am I showing this? God, I hope I'm showing this. Champions number four. Hmm. Ironheart Black History Month variant. Dawn of X trade paperback comes out March 17th. Back to regular stuff. Guardians of the Galaxy number 11. The gods are coming. That's what she said. <laughs> the Olympian gods are returning to our universe and they're taking their exile at Peter Quill's hands very personally. To stop them, the Guardians return to the place the team was born, but will be but will facing their past in Annihilation War help them survive their future? Everything changes in two. So last time it said everything changes in three, didn't it? So two, one. So we got a couple issues. There's, here's oh shit, here we go. Finch is back, guys. This is a one in fifty silver surfer. He did the amazing Spider-Man, which is fire. Finch is back. Guardians. 11. 1 in 50. Finch. My top 10 is probably going to be weird this week. That covers pretty good, though. I love David Finch. Whatever. He's a nice guy, too. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Don't get there yet. Hawkeye Go West graphic novel. Heroes Reborn hardcover. Damn, that doesn't come out till June. Heroes Were Born Omnibus, June. Okay, new book. Immortal Hulk Flatline, yo. Okay, what's that say? One creator, one Hulk, one superstar story. Shalvi writes and draws an Immortal Hulk tale that gets to the heart of Gamma. Every morning, Bruce wakes up in a new place. The Hulk is trying to tell him something, but Bruce has had enough of his green-veined <laughs> altars. When a new gamma-powered villain shows up... Hello? When a new gamma-powered villain shows up in a small New Mexico town, Bruce is forced to confront the source of his anger, and it's not what you expect. Don't miss an extraordinary tale from the top of the industry's talent, top talents. Now, I they're making it sound like it's a new villain. So, a mortal Hulk could be a, a past story. Flatline number one. Okay, let's check out cover A. Pretty sick, huh? Writer, artist, and cover artist. He's doing the whole thing. That's what she said. That cover's pretty good. Nolan. That's good. I like the other one better, though. Is it Nolan? What is it, Nolan? Nolan's regular? More, no more covers than that? What a donkey dong. Let's go ahead and do this one. Seven. Okay. Iron Fist, Heart of the Dragon, number two. The heavenly cities are coming to Earth. The hellish hidden eighth city. 
What is the dark force behind the ancient gate that stands locked in the heart of the eighth city? Okay. Cover A. Philip Tan. Or Billy Tan. Martin variant. I'm not getting this. Here's your Lupacino. People are probably going to buy this one. That's a pretty decent cover. All right, down. Iron Fist. Heart of Ding Dong. Number two. Lupacino. What is it, the uh, Marvel? All right, let's go. Okay, Iron Man number six. Book of Korvac. Book two begins here. Hmm. Okay, cover A by Alex Ross. Patrick Brown. I hope they don't start doing this. Mecha Strike, Mecha Strike variant. Mech Strike. Souza, War Machine, Black History Month. Can't see it. That's ridiculous, dude. Get your art done. God. Okay, oh shit. King in black. It's going to be extra pages. Wait, we'll have extra pages of bonus content from Peach Momoko? God! Dude, you just done ruined King in black for me now. Well, I have to write it down because King and Black is King and Black. Talk about crappy. So cover A. You connecting. Okay, we can't see it. Thanks. Tattoo. Great. We can't see it either. That's ridiculous. Dragon Raza variant. I think that's the one of 50. I got one of those. I love how we cannot see it. Rivera spoiler variant. I would say, if anything, we need to get that Rivera spoiler variant, okay? S Ryan Stegman, 1 in 500. Dude, that's a big-ass variant. But something big could happen in here. I'm just going to write down Rivera spoiler and try to find it later. I'm sure are taking their sweet time with these covers. King in Black, Wenham vs. Carnage, number one, second printing. Okay. Can't see it. King in Black, Planet of Symbiotes, number two. American Kaiju versus what is going on? Okay, well, let's cover A. Oh, we can't see the Kyle Hotz variant, so that's pointless. Marauders, number 18. Can we see that? Oh, thank God. Miles Morales, number 23. Oh, look at that. There are symbiote dragons in Brooklyn, but that's not the worst that Miles has to face today. Noel has taken one of his best friends and is using them to go after Spider-Man. 
he met back in absolute carnage. After the Spider-Man he met back in him, will Miles sacrifice his friend or save himself? It's a cool cover. David Finch, 1 in 50. I told you he's coming back. Woo! I like it. Jesus. Got to write that down. Miles. Not like I'm going to be able to order it. 1 in 50. 23. David Finch, yeah. 1 in 50. Pretty nice, yeah. Pretty nice, yeah. What else they got? The Sousa Black History variant. It's kind of like a homage, kind of. Watch something big goes happening in there. Daredevil hardcover, volume 15. And the variant cover, those come out on uh, Marvel Masterworks, June 16th. Modoc, number three. I mean, who's reading this? Is anybody reading this? Cover A. Here's a La Fuente cover. Of course, Gwen pulls in it. Okay, Savage Avengers. Number 18. Through Hellfire and Deadpool, Conan, Deadpool, and the Night Flyer escape Rikers in the Endless Night during the reign of the King in Black. What craziest heist will ruin Deadpool's 30th anniversary? Here's a hint. It involves Hellfire Club. Deadpool's 30th anniversary. Cover A. Oh, shit. Look at that. Man, they could have done better. Dude, it's eating Deadpool. It just chomped Deadpool. They could have. Dude, Conan's holding the all black or symbiote sword. That's pretty good. I, they could have done better on the. I don't know. I'm going to write it down. Savage Avenger. Number 18. Super log. Next. And then you got the uh, Mech Strike variant. Shang-Chi trade paperback. Okay, there. Can we give me something good? Spider Woman, number nine. She's at the high evolutionary's volcanic lair. Surrounded by clones of her mother, the Ice Queen, and the High Evolutionary, Jessica's hope of finding the cure to the disease that threatens Jessica, her son Jerry, and her niece are drying up by the hour. One in 25. Oh, shit, guys. Dude, that looks so weird. But that cover is going to be fire. That book is going to be on fire. I'm telling you right now. Spider-Woman, number nine, the Besh variant. Is she Besher than Momoko? Maybe. One in 25. It's like, I like it, dude. You got to look at it for a while. I might have to pre or I might have to go buy that on eBay or something. I don't know. What do you, whatever I think special. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, finally, something good. Thor number 12. Doctors Foster and Blake ready for scalpels. Once upon a time, Jane Foster and Donald Blake were more than friends. With Blake at her side, Jane could have shared the very throne of Asgard. Now they're about to become the bitterest of enemies, and if Valkyrie falls, she'll have lost more than a crown. All of the Ten Realms are at stake, not to mention the life of the All-Father Thor. Well, it's Donny Cates, you know, 
Let's cover A. <clears throat> Klein variant. Oh, you're not going to show me the one in 25 Klein. I bet it will be sick, though. I bet it'll be sick. Shaw variant. Michael Cho Thor two tone variant canceled. Oh man, it's a tough pick. It's a tough pick, yeah. Let me um see if I can find the Thor variant. Thor number twelve. Klein. That'll be the best, I bet. Okay, X-Men Legends, number one, new book. All new tales. Ooh, Fabian's doing it. Brett Booth, starring your favorite X-Men. Break out the yellows and blues, fire up the danger room, and snap on your pouches as legendary X-Riders return to classic eras of the mutant superheroes in all new in continuity stories set during their fan favorite runs. Fabian kicks off the series with a special saga of Cyclops and Havoc as the Sh Shira return to Earth in search of the Forsaken One. But what secret will Summer's brothers uncover? And how will its revelations change what you thought you knew about the X-Men? Get ready for a story decades in the making and come back each month as we dive deeper to expand the X-Men mythos. Welcome back, Legends. Hope you survived the experience. Might be interesting. Probably not, though. Let me write it down. Probably screw up the whole timeline. X-Men Legends, number one. Here we go. Cover A. Coelho con connecting. Probably be cool to get all of them connected, you know? You. No, you. This is a one in 50. Dodderman, one in 25. Why does he have boots on, Iceman? That's just dumb. Christopher Action Figure. Oh, you guys will be getting these. I've never been one of those fans. Gleason. Hmm. That was the Stormbreakers, actually. That's one per store, Stormbreakers. Uh, I'm just going to pick this one. Thank God. There's a lot of kind of poopy Marvel, huh? I bet there'll be something key with that Knight King in Black with Momoko Extra Pages, whatever the hell that is. Let me uh, check the chiz out and catch up. Looks like I got Francisco. 123, 24 to 5 to 6 7. While I'm doing that, I'm going to show the prizes. Crazy. Brian Mulligan. Chester. Sylvain. Sylvain. Thank you. 153, 4, 5, 6, 7. Appreciate it. Okay. They're really going to mocha the shit out of us. Ooh, Jeremy Chenard is a new member. Just so you guys know, let me um come back. Just so you guys know, we're not done yet, by the way. Let me, Jeremy Chenard, I think he's just a sicko. 
if you become a sicko member and you win any of the giveaways, not this giveaway tonight, but all the other giveaway videos, your prize is double. If you're a sicko member, I'm giving you multiple prizes. Instead of just the base, you will benefit because you're a sicko. I think that's only fair. I don't know. Incentive. Robert O'Brien. Someone just. Are you home yet, Eddie? Okay, let's let's see what else we got here. I only have 18 likes. You go fuck yourselves, guys. <laughs> Sick. Okay. Let's see here. And there's 130 people in here. I'm going to keep going. Okay, Oni Press. Well, enjoy my free information without a like. That's fine. I don't, whatever. I don't care. Courtney Crumman, trade paperback. Girl Haven, graphic novel. Okay, moving on. We're almost done. Titan. We have... Enki Libel, Bill All, Legends of Today hardcover. That's a cool cover, kind of. Let's take a look at it. Yeah. Okay, next. It's a weird week. V oh, wait. Valiant. Okay, here we go. Valiant. New book called Savage, number one. From the mad minds of international superstar Max Bemis and powerhouse A artist Nathan Strzok. Stockman comes the craziest action book of 2021. Man, superstar and power horse artist, huh? Oh, I didn't know that. Teenage heartthrob, feral social icon, dinosaur hunter. Born and raised on an uncharted island full of prehistoric dangers, Kevin Sausageface has a taste of home when a mutant dino threat threat invades England. I don't know, man. Cover A, B. I don't know, something about that cover I kind of like. A 20 copy Stacy Lee. We can't see it. Stupid. Okay, so pre-order bundles. He's giant dying diving into a giant vaginina. <laughs> okay. I you know what? I'll pass on that. Vault. Here we go. Am I still sharing? He has bubble guts. Okay, here we go. We're going to keep going. Okay, Vault. Hollow Heart number one. Okay, there's a cover for you. Look at that pinky. L used to be a human. We read this already. This got pushed. Now he's a jumble of organs in a bio suit. L is also in tremendous pain and has been for a very long time. Hope arrives in the form of Mateo, a mechanical or a mechanese brought into work on L's suit. Mateo sees LK in a way no one ever has. All of a sudden, it's LK now. And what's more, Mateo offers L, they misspelled it, an escape hollow. God, this shit's written so stupid. Hollow Heart reunites Tet creators Paul Aller and Paul Tucker, two Pauls, for a queer monster love story. Man, they really messed up this description about the choices we make between giving our loved one, giving our loved ones what they thought, what they want, and what we think they need. Okay, well, anyway, Hollow Heart cover A. Cover B is a homage cover to Shogun Warriors, I believe. God, I, I want to put it on my list, kind of, but I don't know. 10, 15 copy David Mack. Three. 
30 copy, David Mack. I don't know yet. Hickman. I don't know why. I feel like the whole world's going, oh, dude, Hollow's going to be dope. And I just don't. I'm not digging it. So I'm not. it's not going on my list, y'all. Picture of everything else. Number two, cover A. And B. And Vagrant Queen, Trade Paperback, Volume 2, A Planet Called Doom. Okay, last up. Xenoscope. Am I wrong to feel think that that's stupid? Ah, <sighs> I don't, I don't know. I, I do like that Shogun one, but should I put it on my list just in case to see if it possibly makes my tough tank? Top ten. I'll pull you pull you guys. That's what she said. Dude, why you Oh, Kim messaged something on Instagram. This isn't something totally separate. Oh, she got some books and stuff in her prizes, I think. Oh, is it Rom? <clears throat> yeah, it's Rom too, huh? Is it Rom also? Let's go ahead and pull up Shogun Wires just to I mean I know it's probably Rom. That makes sense. We still have to do Cenoscope, but hang on. That looks like the same thing, doesn't it? Yeah, it look, does look more like ROM, I think. Yeah, I think it's ROM. Okay, let me let me remove this. So we still have to do Xenoscope. I'll put it down. I just hate the sound of the book but i like the cover you know what i mean and if it makes my top 10 it makes my top 10 but i doubt it heart number one cover b daniel i don't know though i don't think it's gonna make it i do love a nice tasty homage though so she said Okay, let's do... Oh, wait, let me get Aaron R. Yeah, it does look... It looks more like Rom. Be a lot cooler if it looked more like Shogun Warriors. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm a cover. I do a lot of shit. Keys and covers. Okay, here we go. Here's some cover buys are coming for you all over your face. Oh, let me get Rick James with his dollar. Rick James, bitch. All right, me. I'll do that later. Okay. Courier, Liberty and Death number two, cover A by Vitorino. America. 
Cover B by Sabine Rich. Damn, those are some nice punts. Cover C by Salad. Or no, that's a different book. Okay, right? Grim Fairy Tales presents Quarterly Dark Watchers. Cover A by Salazar. Cover B by Garvey. They must have pushed this because, you guys, I love that cover, remember? We did this already. Got to write that down. Love that cover. Love that butas. The butani. A bunani. 14. Let me... Uh... GFT presents your mama. Quarterly. Dark Watchers. I think there's another good cover, too. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. B. Garvey. Okay, let's see. Is C better? Uh, pretty good. Nelly Jimenez. I like B better, though. It's pretty good, though. <laughs> Okay, next. Grim Fairy Tale Universe Retailer Program. What is this? Bronze level. What is this? Let's read and find out what this means. Discount 45% access to bronze retailer incentive collectibles. Exclusive 50%. You must order three copies of all Grim Universe books. Well... We're not supposed to read this. Okay. Gold level. Oh, damn. I'm being a gold level right now. Oh, we. <laughs> damn. Oh, my God. I'm going to write this down. <laughs> I want to be a gold level. Retailer. These are books are expensive. Like, God, that's good. Cool. Mama. Program. How am I going to add this to a top 10 list? January 2021. Gold level. I'll just put a gold level variant. Damn. Oh, ho, 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 platinum, platinum, boom, boing, bronze age earned two dollars. Boing, look at that. I like the bra. Am I still on the right? Okay, silver. Here we go. It's like the same image. Oh, look, and here's the... Uh, look at this thing. It's ridiculous. Okay. Oh, wow. Did I save that last one? Jesus. Wow. That's it. Not a lot of books. And most of them I couldn't even see. I got one, two, three, four, five for sure. I have six for sure that belong on my top ten. For sure. Seven. Gotta put X Men Legends in there, right? That'll be number 10. Eight. Okay. Hi, Larissa. Dude, I don't need to buy no boobies. I like cartoon boobies. All right. I'm gonna read you my list. It's a really crappy week. Ready? Zombie Trap, number 78, cover C and D. 
Oh, Red Sonia, Price of Blood or whatever. Number three, I think, cover A by Sidem. Batman Black and White, number three. Ha ha, number two, cover B. Black Widow, number five, one in 25 variant. Guardians of the Galaxy, number 11, one in 50 variant. Mortal Hulk Flatline, number one, possible new villain. Iron Fist Heart of Dragon, number two, the Lupacino variant. King in Black, number four. I'm going with the Rivera spoiler variant, even though we couldn't see it. Miles Morales, number 23, the David Finch, one in 50. Savage Avengers, number 18, the Superlog variant. Spider Woman, number nine, the Besh variant, one in 25. Watch, guys, I'm telling you, it'll be one of the best. Thor, number 12. The Klein, 1 in 25. We couldn't see, but I bet it's good. X-Men Legends, number 1. Hollow Heart, number 1, cover B. Grim Fairy Tales presents quarterly Dark Anus Watchers, cover B by Garvey. And Grim Universe Retailer Program, January 2021, gold level. Not a really big week. Actually, we need a week off, right? We need a week. It's been freaking nuts. And there was a bunch of uh, DC number twos and final issues. Future State that I'm not even putting in the list, amazingly enough. The only one that really made it from DC for me was Batman Black and White. Number three, because it's a good key, probably. Right? Bra. Bra. Okay. I'm going to show you this. This is it. Ready? This is what I'm going to explain it to you, and then we're going to do it. I'm going to do a countdown. The prize is tonight. Our first prize is the Savage Namor. I can't remember what number it is. It's the first J. Lee cover, okay? And it's signed by J. Lee. Plus, you got an X Factor signed by J. Lee as well with a COA on that one. That's first prize. Second prize, first appearance of uh, Anne Wayne, Dylan's mom, Amazing Spider-Man 375. And the, I think it's 311, the Mysterio Todd McFarlane cover. So that's second place. Third place is early Hawkman and Submariner. One's silver, one's just breaking the edge of silver, I think. First appearance of Lion Mane and first appearance of Orca. They're probably in a VG to find condition, those two books. Those are old keys. Those are the prizes tonight for Super Chat. Now. Thirty seconds. How do I do this? How do I do this channel? Here we go. Hi, I'm back. Okay, here's the line for that. Wait, did someone do something right when I did the line? Oh, look at Chester. Just made it. He made it in between the two lines for Facebook and YouTube. It's so weird. Chester. And Kim wins. I got to look at her post when we're done. 89, 99, 192, 93. Okay. Here we go. So third prize. Okay. I'm going to randomize CX times. And thank you, everybody, for being sick. I don't know what's better. Like third prize is probably more expensive than all of them. I don't know. Here we go. Randomize CX times. Get rid of this thing. There you go. One, two, three. Oh, we got. <laughs> how about I enter the numbers? One, two, three, four, five, six. Third place is number 59. I'm not going to say anything yet. I'm just going to circle it and write it down.
Okay, six six times. One, two, three, four, five, six is second place. And first place with Jay Lee's first cover signed and a bonus book. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Here we go. Third place wins these two books. Hawkman, number 20. First lion appearance of Mayan lion mane. Silver. And Submariner, number 23. First appearance of Orca. Okay. These are pretty cool. That is... Robert O'Brien. Okay. Robert O'Brien. Dude, you want to sign Dave or you want a David Finch like one in a hundred Eddie? You want a giant ass like limited edition Marvel like painting. I remember that. Eddie, I, I put I, I put Spider Man up so Eddie will give a dollar here and there. I'm sick. Okay, second place, ASM three seventy five, and three eleven. Tom McFarlane and uh, Key. Okay, is. Crazy Ivan. I had to block first place. Okay, Crazy, you got those. If, if you have to, you can send Eddie a Spider-Man so he won't freak out. Er, what's er? He oh, okay. And first place wins this signed X Factor number eighty four with COA, signed by Jay Lee, and the first ever cover. It's a near mint minus. First ever Jay Lee cover, signed by Jay Lee. Okay. Goes to oh, Brian Mulligan Jr. I thought maybe, I mean, I don't know. Um, Eddie. I thought you might want some, like, sign books and keys maybe this time or something like that. I, you know, I'm always doing, I mean, slabs are great. <laughs> I will do some slabs next time, but I wanted to mix it up. Some old keys, some sign books, and some spideys. I thought it would be fun. I hope you guys like those. I mean, I don't know. Did I do good? And Eddie is going to receive a G.I. Joe uh, Snake Eyes. <laughs> so yeah that's it really kind of a weak week i'll put together some sort of top 10 i gotta look for those images though because i would like to have them in my top 10 video tomorrow um my luck i won't be able to we still got steve rainey 
Kid Collector, and Celo Martinez. I need payments for you guys for the auction that was last weekend. If you could send those when you can, that would be great, so I can send them to you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I love you guys. I, I'd stay longer, but what's the point? We did what we did. So you guys, please stay sick. Have a great night. Be safe. All that good stuff.